What's good? It's your boy D Brown, aka Bruce D Roy, and here we are for another tutorial on Premiere Pro for beginners. But I love all women cause when I'm in your city, I'm gonna take one home just to baby me. Then I'm gonna make a paparazzi make place for me. Just to have a whole world so amazed to me. Alright, so if you've seen my last video, then you know, go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. And we're going to go to File, New, Project to open up a new project. Next, the only thing we're going to change is the name, My YouTube Tutorial. Don't change anything else. Don't worry about it. But if something's different, you can copy my screen. You can click OK. And now you have a whole new window, a whole new project open. So as you can see, there's four different windows. So the next thing that we'll do, we'll go to File and go down to Import. This was the whole goal. Go to Import or click Control I. Once you do that, for us, you'll see a bunch of different videos. These are my vlogs. So I'm going to go ahead and open up one of my favorite ones from my model Phenomenal. So make sure that your video does pop up at the bottom left corner. As you can see, mine says episode three done. And that's the video that we just imported. So you can see the video right there that we just imported. We're going to go back to file because you want to have a new sequence. So file new sequence or control N. Once you select that, you're going to get a different pop up with a bunch of different choices. Do not feel overwhelmed. There are a bunch of different selections. And if we go through each one, you can tell that they have different settings. The frame size is how big the video is. The frame rate is how fast your video can catch you or catch whatever you're trying to record. Audio, how many audio tracks are going to be on there. If all of this is foreign, if it's confusing, it is okay. I promise you it's okay. We're going to just flip through some of these so you can see the differences. My personal favorite is 1080 by 60. So that's what I usually choose, as you can see right there. But... I'm going to teach you some things once we select that. So once we selected a sequence, now we have something at the bottom right corner. So in our sequence window, you can see that there's V's. V stands for video. And the A's stand for audio, which is sound. So at the top, you're gonna, that's where you're going to be able to put your videos, and at the bottom is where your sound will be. Drag over your video from the left to the right, and now you'll have a pop-up. So now we have a pop-up once we dragged our video into our sequence settings. So the pop-up says, the clip does not match the sequence settings. Change the sequence to match the clip settings. I always make sure to ask me because I always want to know. Please make sure you don't uncheck that box because you don't want to make a mistake unless you're a pro. So if we continue, our choices say change sequence settings or keep sequence settings. I always change them no matter what because sometimes, most times, Premiere Pro knows that the settings don't match your camera. And the whole purpose of the sequence is to make sure it matches your camera. So this just tries to make sure that your sequence settings matches your camera's capability. If your camera is shooting in 30 frame rates per second and you set this to 60, then obviously they don't match. And Premiere Pro is going to say, hey, let's match this up for you. So that's all we really did. It could be another setting that's changed as well, but that's very important to know. So I'm dragging along. 
you can click at the top where that cursor is, where that marker is, and drag left to right on your video. You can go to effect controls and make sure you have the video selected, your clip selected. And now you'll see a bunch of stuff in your effect controls. So I'm going to play with the scale just for you to see because if your sequence settings was wrong, then your video is going to be too zoomed in or too zoomed out or something else is going to be changed. So that's why we always want to make sure we change the sequence settings. Next we have the audio clip mixer. As you can tell, the sound going up and down on audio one. You can also mute tracks or make solo tracks and we all know what solo means the only one so those are the different selections that we have for the sequence we're going to go into sequence a little bit more in another video but today i wanted to make sure that we go over importing just so you can know how to put a clip into premiere pro correctly so i hope you learned something once again it's your boy d brown aka bruce d roy we're going to continue on with premiere pro and some other things so you can learn more so i hope you enjoyed it and go ahead and try it out you so dope uh, better than a drink in my coat uh, more like the tree in my smoke uh, if you want to rock this boat then we can ride you out so dope. i'm gonna get you in the ozone uh, then we can be alone Kill your phone so we can ride you out. So go, go. Uh, what? You so go, you so go, you so go, go, uh, you so go, you so go, you so. Y'all make sure y'all like. Y'all comment, y'all subscribe, cause some funny, some fire stuff is on the way.